When Tabitha named me the artistic director of the salon I was in, I was pulled aside by an NBC producer. He told me that I was very talented. That's when it hit me. It was time for me to flap my wings. Say so thank you to everyone. I appreciate everything that I've learned from everyone. But I'm going to try my own thing. Five years ago, I did Tabata Salon Takeover. And that was a great surprise. Because it was a challenge to my skills, and it was put on the spotlight. Yeah, I just thought that I was going to be able to grow from the experience, but I didn't know that I was actually going to do well at the end of the show. It was, that was a surprise. Deep inside, I always imagined that I would have my own salon, because I didn't really fit in in any of the salons that I was in. But after I did that reality show, it gave me the amount of confidence that it took to say I'm going to step up and I'm going to try this. Even if I don't succeed, I'm still going to try to have my own business. And I chose South Beach because why not? This is the place where everyone comes to. It's the most eclectic town in Florida. And I figured if I'm going to show my artistic ability, this is the place to be at. I'm an artist, so I get bored of doing the same thing. So being in the same spot for a long period of time makes me uneasy. Because vintage was so in, I decided that I wanted to do a vintage photo shoot with a modern twist to it. It's not only about looks, it's also about performance and face. For the of a smile, I had the boys look at mechanics just one girl to make it classy. Very confident, strong. At the end of it all, we had this great fun shoot. <laughs> and I make it happen. I feel my dream has come true. I've been able and blessed to own my own business. And I feel like I have to show you guys what I can do for you. Live your dream.